When I play Pokemon, I know there will always probably be 8 badges to collect, a set chart of typing advantages and disadvantages, route with a style of play, how the AI is normally set to play in doubles, etc. Then my mind wanders on how the anime with possible Amora shipping may change the game or vice versa. To uncannon style battles with an anime may actually slowly be introduced into the gameplay of a new Pokemon title. While combing the Pokemon forums, Bulbapedia, and Smogon for new strategies and online matches, to prepping my phone and free time to go catch real life Digimon, I mean Pokemon, and Pokemon Go. Either I have a lifelong addiction to a game since the late 90s, or I, uh, well, I just want to be the best. The best there ever was. The meta's gone full circle. Pokemon life, man. But, when I, but what do I mean when I say meta? And what does metagame mean? And how do you do this metagaming? Is this some sort of new MMO MOBA I'm not aware of? Well, no. But welcome to VGT 101, Video Game Terminology. I'm your host, Sensei Pong, and let's talk about the meta. Now, I'm not going to say I understand my YouTube audience in any way, since good fractions of you subscribe here for vastly different things. Bedtime stories, let's plays, retro stuff, reviews, the VGT series. But, you know, it's probably safe to assume that 50% of all my VGT regulars already know quite a bit about gaming, and only really enjoy watching my analyses for fact and belief confirmation, or are waiting for the moment for me to trip up and point out my flaws. So, you know, we can commence in that long-awaited flame war. So jumping right in, if YouTube were a game and posting certain videos a strategy, one can possibly state that planning these videos accordingly to mostly positive audience reactions and popularity would be an attempt at metagaming the YouTube scene. Hold up, what? Oh, it is a game. Man, that's so freaking meta. I wonder if I could learn anything from it. Now, the definition of meta and metagame can seemingly mean different things at this point, and for the most part, that's true. Well, let's clear up some things. Classically, the metagame, or meta, of a game is easily defined as a strategy that applies to a game beyond the stated mechanics and strategy of a game. Another way to look at what metagame means could be the end game beyond the standard rule sets of a game. A great example of this could be professional poker. The standard rule sets and strategies applied to winning poker can be stated as knowing your probabilities of card draws, standards and risk taking, and chances of winning with certain hands which would lead to planned bets and folds. Bluffing, betting, and reading or even knowing your opponent and their personality on the playfield. At this point you've reached beyond the set rules of the given strategy. Now let's say I'm playing a poker game against a guy named Billy the Club. We're in a tournament, and even though I've never played Billy before, I've been watching him very closely. I know he likes to bluff, and is prone to bluff roughly 2 out of 3 games while holding a junk hand. So when it finally comes around to play my tournament games against Billy, I plan all my bets and hits knowing Billy is probably bluffing with a junk hand to scare me down. Which in the end, if Billy doesn't change his tactics, for this argument let's say he doesn't, I win the tournament with more money and Billy loses. With this, we can say that the metagame I implemented was to know my opponent like the back of my hand. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> uh -huh. Knowing what sort of tactics Billy would use, what sort of personality he carries while in-game, and what sort of patterns occur while playing Billy. These sort of strategies go beyond the game itself and become an advanced way of playing the game that nearly cements a winning strategy a majority of the time. These sort of strategies can be implemented in nearly any game, virtual or material, and at the highest tiers of any competitive platform, ranging from traditional sports, esports, or even competitive Scrabble, can be taken to the next level of a metagame. Finding counters to certain teams or players' MO, or even finding strategies to popular trending playstyles is actually part of the metagame. Now, more recently, the term metagame has been used in a general strategy that covers the game at the highest professional levels. A good example of this could be with StarCraft or even something like Super Smash Brothers. With StarCraft, certain strategies and planned methods can be used, similar to chess. If the other player realizes these strategies are being used, they can plan a proper counter that properly evens the playfield or turns the game around, putting them into the advantage. With something like Smash Brothers, the same thing can happen as well. If one player chooses Yoshi as their character, a common counter to Yoshi could be playing Kirby. Kirby's reach and moves normally outmatch Yoshi giving Yoshi an uphill fight in games where the player's skills are evenly matched. Unless, you know, I'm playing, because I'm the sensei, and I play a real mean Yoshi. Shabam! 
Another way the term meta has been used in game talk has either been a commentative, ironic, or joking manner. For these situations, I fall back onto the urban dictionary with something that's more self-referential. In other words, breaking the fourth wall of its medium. In a sense, with this definition, we can easily say something like Deadpool is a bit meta in nature, referencing the fact that he is a superhero in a comic book, or even talking to the reader, knowing that they're enjoying the comic book. Another format that could be meta is a movie that's talking about the movie industry itself or the production of the movie that it is, similar to the movie Tropic Thunder, which one can say is parody or satire, but nevertheless is a bit meta in nature, with the characters portraying caricatured versions of the real film industry celebrities. In gaming, though, two points of games becoming meta in nature would be, I don't know, Metal Gear Solid with the villain Psycho Madness and the Stanley Parable on PC. With Psycho Manus in the final fight, the battle with Psycho Manus became kind of a legend where the game forced you to realize that the game itself realized that it was the player playing a game. Psycho Manus playing psychological tricks on the player from having to switch controllers of your controller to the other port, whatever. And then with the Stanley Parable, the game becomes self-aware and exploring other options through the game, not exactly doing what the game tells you, and with like things like the game freezing, etc. was all about the strategy and the story and the gameplay of the game itself as a whole. Both great games for different reasons. Check them out if you've never played them. I suppose just to ease the gamer masses, it's worth mentioning Undertale as a game that goes meta in nature. Playing the game once is not enough. The game remembers, and there's plenty of ways that the game protects the save files and remembers you making a major mistake in a run of the game, from being good and not killing anything or going bloodthirsty with a genocide run. The game realizes it's a game, and as the player, those facets of the game unravel and open up the longer you play. Or another point when I've heard the term meta is with games is where you can play video games within the game itself. And then finally, another point where I've heard the term meta is with a TV series, The Flash, with meta-humans. Humans that go beyond the planned natural strategy of human nature itself. Lols. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> But finally, when someone says meta-gaming, it normally means a strategic definition of meta, as in the meta-game of a game. For someone meta-gaming Pokemon, for example, would be going into the internet for walkthroughs, strategies, etc. For tips and tricks on playing. This can occur both before or during play itself. Whatever it may be, it's a deeper look into the strategies of a game that aren't inherently explained in the game itself. So in conclusion, do any of these definitions have any real substance? Eh, it's up to debate. We'll have to see how the meta plays out. Either way, leave some comments down below if you think I missed something important, or think I'm wrong in some points. Like if you may, subscribe and share. And until next time, Santa Punk signing out. Like and subscribe. But welcome to VGT 101, Video Game Taxonomy. That... Wow, my